Okay, everyone, and welcome to another Deviant Funds Flash review. This one will be a smoking flash review. Sorry about that, because I'm doing it, doing a, a series of them in a row, <laughs> and yeah, I need I need some some tobacco, but. Don't smoke, it's super bad for your health. I don't know how I got myself into this mess because this is really, really hard to, to leave. So I advise, keep away from that. Kids, grown-ups, I started smoking as a grown-up, which is even more stupid. But yeah, that's how it is. This thing is uh, addictive. Um... Yeah, so we're we're here to talk about uh, the sequel to Sean Murphy's uh, White Knight, Batman White Knight. So it's the Curse of the White Knight. Once again, uh, I just made a review where Matt Hollingsworth was doing the colors. Uh, I like to call him Sir Matt Hollingsworth because he's one of the great colorists out there. Uh, and we've got Klaus Janssen uh, doing the the tracing, um, or not? Let me see. Is he coloring or what? What is he doing? Ah, okay. He was he was the he was the the one who drew a special story. An extra that comes with this hardcover edition uh, about uh, Freeze, Von Freeze. It's an extra story after you read The Curse of the White Knight. Uh, I, I've never read the story, but it, it involves Nazis. Um, that, that I can tell you. I, I will be reading it, of course, but... Um, haven't read it yet so let's take a look at the at the cover without uh, the dust jacket so pretty good looking cover this is the spine okay you can see it better like this look mm -hmm. it's a fine sturdy book here is what uh, the slip cover looks like so you probably managed to read Azrael there yeah Azrael is here a lot the story revolves a lot around him so this is yet another book of a torn Batman uh, that is questioning his, um, his efficiency and his role in Gotham, which you had already seen in White Knight, uh, where Jack Napier uh, really messed his head around. Uh, but the book starts with the very beginning of Gotham, where we see just uh, a glimpse of something sinister that happened, a murder, uh, and we won't know what it was exactly until the end of the book. We will know bits by bits. Sean will let you know uh, piece by piece, but Joker knows all, uh, and he plans to use it to destroy Batman once and for all because that's something that will crush him from the inside and put his entrails out out there sorry for the visuals so we see Joker escaping uh, the Gotham uh, prison uh, and then the action turns on to, to Batman, who's reading, who's finally got, got the courage to read Alfred's note for him that says, you got to stick with your family, you got to look for love. 
I know you're going to try to find uh, strength in isolating yourself and trying to focus and uh, keeping every everyone away from from your path but that's not the way to go um yeah so uh joker is no longer jack napier jack napier is buried deep inside the joker so is joker as you know it and we're presented to um a corporate uh secret society a bit like in the court of owls called the elites uh, which seem to have been undermining uh, gotham city from the very beginning and they were exposed by jack napier uh, and that also uh, messed up with with batman's uh, psyche to understand how much corruption was there it involves the batman uh, uh it's not recovering fun but it's something like that so it seems that they have been using um criminals to lower down the the price of estates and then buying them and using the the uh, the fund to to raise uh the buildings uh, back together and things like that it's it's slightly explained in here you don't need to know the, de the details what you need to know is that there is this guy here which is an ex-military he was uh, on covert uh, operations um, those missions that the government doesn't want you to know that happened but they do um, like bombing uh, some a strategic site and leaving without uh, without leaving a trace so we have a small team but we we get to know him just aiding someone in a chapel is wiping the floors taking care of of, uh, of the space and he has a brief talk with a uh, chapelier but then when he is alone he, he gets a vision um he gets a vision uh, and someone or something tells you that he's the true king uh, the heir to gotham city and he gives him a special flaming sword and tells him what his mission is very clear wipe out bruce wayne from the face of the earth so as if Bruce Wayne and Batman hadn't enough trouble, uh, you'll have to deal with this Azrael character. Uh, throughout the book, you'll get to see glimpses of the past, once again, uh, the birth of Gotham. It will involve uh, a Templar um, remnant uh i'll just say it uh, uh group yeah uh, yeah you can call it group um personified by this guy bakar and this uh this guy that is supposedly one of of the last wanes so there's a uh um a plot here that will slowly uncover and that involves the two characters and that murder that you saw at the beginning of the book uh, but in the present time uh, Bruce Wayne is facing uh, a big uh, facing big doubts whether if, if he should come clean to society like he has uh, thought of doing and he has discussed with with uh, with the GCPD uh, detective. Uh, yeah, but he's unsure if he should do it. And he receives a visit from the elite saying that he shouldn't. And a lot of reasons are explained of why it is a very, very bad idea. And meanwhile, the Joker is pulling his strings. 
puppeteering people like he does to get to his goals. Uh, even Jim is manipulated by him and ridicule, ridiculed. Joker exposes uh, a lot of people, their secret identities go down the, the drain. And Batman ends up uh, finding an ally in Harley Quinn. Guess what? So Harley Quinn has been the only person who, well, she was the one to to recover uh, to recover uh, Napier from Joker's mind, right? Using some pills that she did, but that didn't work out too well. So Joker now is Joker, and Batman. Uh, wants to use her to try and get to Napier because he really no needs to know what the hell uh, is does Joker know about him that's going to make him uh, fall on his knees. But he has to deal with this small crew uh, that Azrael leads. You will have a, a small crew of three people or four uh, they will bomb his house, uh, attack him, etc., uh, etc. Et but the interesting part is the small revelations that will be given to you about the meaning of uh, some secret thing that, that lies in uh, uh, Jack Napier's original cave. Uh, or better saying Cell, uh, where he turned into Joker, supposedly. And Batman will try to get as many clues as he can from that and try to build a story. And he actually, well, you know, he's a good detective, right? He actually gets almost all the picture. But in the way, there will be tragic deaths, people falling at the hands of Azrael and Joker. Uh, there's lots of tragedy here. Uh, so it's a, it's a very, it's a very uh, dense story with lots of things going on. Uh, for once we've got, we've got Azrael, right? Trying to bring down Bruce Wayne. We've got Bruce Wayne, uh, dealing with uh, the guilt of the consequences of him not exposing himself and thinking of the consequences if he does. We find out things that, that his butler did uh, that he didn't know about, that he finds out in, in the letters and by some other character. Uh, we see uh, the family relations uh, especially with, with Dick Grayson um, evolving in a different manner. Um, Batman will be put to the test and to the limit in such way that he might pick up a gun with the intent to kill someone. He might. I'm not saying he will. Uh, maybe he just got too close to that. Uh, but his family is there to try to stop him to to break the code, right? You can see the artwork is very good. The paper is not crummy paper uh, like in the in these new trades that they're putting out in in hardcover format. It's not superb paper, but it's but it's enough quality to have good colors and good contrast and etc. Thank God for that. And here we have the original Batmobile because uh, it it will reach such a point where Batman is so uh, short on resources that that's the last Batmobile he has uh, with himself. So he will duel Azrael in a hand-to-hand, man-to-man fight. Uh, that will be interesting to see. Uh, but 
the real juice is in the revelations, like I said. Uh, what the hell is uh, Jack? Is Joker? Does Joker know about that cell uh, and what was written on that on that wall? That will bring Bruce Wayne to his knees. Uh, let me see if there's something more relevant that is not very uh, revealing. Uh, but yeah, you'll have you'll be really surprised uh, by the end of the book. It has some real, real cool twists. Uh, I would say this is out of continuity. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but I think it is. Uh, you should see it as a separate story of something that could happen. Uh, but I'm not too sure about that, to be honest. Um, I just can tell you that it's a dense book. That's one book that you don't read uh, in 15 minutes. Or so and there will be times when you'll feel the need to go back one page or two to better understand what's going on and remember where this thing came from uh, because there's a lot going on this is Sean Murphy right so uh, he doesn't write uh, simple plots or basic plots he he really really invests on the story and it and it shows in this in this book so this is a very good Batman book uh, that I highly recommend uh, I wouldn't give it five stars or anything like that but it's a, a solid four one to five and apart from that it's a beautiful book it's got a, a promising a short story about the freeze involving the Nazis that you can see here uh, that I'm eager to, to read also. So that's all I wanted to show you. Uh, hope I didn't say too much. Uh, so let's leave it here. If you want to buy this book, you know where to do it. DeviantFun.biz. It's simple as that. We ship to all Europe. If you live in the States, well, I'm sorry we don't do exports. Just intercommunitary, uh, how do you call it, sales? Let's call it sales. Um, but, but we do uh, this kind of services for all the world. Spreading the love for comics, showing comics to everyone. It doesn't matter if you're going to buy them from us or not. If you're going to, that's great, of course. But uh, we're more than a shop. We're a set of services for all you comic lovers. And we take great pride in doing so. So, if you like the video, like it. If you don't like it, uh, just use the right thumb, the one that points down. And tell us why you didn't like it. We would like to know. And consider subscribing the channel because uh, there will be uh, constant uh, flash reviews and leap throughs. You can also visit us on Facebook and Instagram uh, to know what's going on in the shop, in the comics, comic books world, and etc. So I won't bother you anymore. Uh, it is getting lengthy. Uh, so time to say goodbye and hope that you'll have a wonderful week. Or a weekend. I don't know when you'll be seeing this. So Deviant Fun out in 3, 2, 1. Bye bye.